We are back with another monthly wrap-up of some of the weird, bizarre, and even scary news to come out of Japan over the last month. So what happened over the last month or so? Let's take a look. Number 1. On April 7th, the Nakatsu City History Museum in Oita posted a tweet of this adorable yet horrifying clay figure from the Jomon period. The little figure will apparently be visiting their museum from Aomori this summer, and they will treat it carefully so the baby doesn't cry. This particular figure was found along the banks of the Mabechi River in Aomori, and is believed to be from the late Jomon period, meaning it would be roughly 3,000 or so years old. That's an old baby. It's only 7 by 4 centimeters, and considering how easy it was for babies to die back then, it's believed that the figure was possibly made to pray for their health or perhaps to mourn for a loss. This particular figure was also the first one in Japan to be found alone, and not accompanied by a mother figure. Either way, reactions to this creepy yet adorable figure were, naturally, Oh my god, it's so cute! If you're in Japan this summer, then don't forget you can check this little figure out in person at the Nakatsu City History Museum. Number 2. On May 9th, an 85-year-old man from Chitose City in Hokkaido went missing after heading into the mountains to pick some wild azukina. He left home around 10am and told his family that he was heading out to pick some wild plants, but by that evening he still hadn't returned home. Now, what makes this story strange is that the man was dropped off at a police station in a town nearly 25 kilometers away. A local found him, and the old man claimed to have lost his way. He lost his way nearly 25 kilometers from home after going into a mountainous forest to pick some wild plants. Even for a young, healthy person, ending up that far away from home would be quite the feat, and that doesn't even take into account how cold and mountainous Hokkaido is, and this was done at night. Naturally, the internet joked that the man must have warped all that way, or perhaps he was secretly in the army. But either way, it was certainly an impressive feat for a man of 85. I wish I was that healthy. Number 3. Earlier this month, a junior high school in Kitakyushu City got, let's just say, quite the surprise. They arrived to find an anonymous donation of 1 million yen, in cash, accompanied by a note that said, from a 1950 graduate. Reportedly, an elderly man arrived at the school in a taxi, handed an envelope to a staff member and said, I'd like you to give this to the principal. The staff member tried to stop him, but the man got back in the taxi and disappeared. Inside the envelope, they found 1 million yen in cash and a small note. Please don't lose to Corona. Please put this to good use for the children from a 1950 graduate. Who the man was and where he got the money from remains unknown. It has since been handed over to the city's Board of Education where it will, according to them, be put to good use. Here's hoping, huh? Number 4. On May 24th, an artist on Twitter posted a rather interesting photo. It was captioned, I found my wife's personal items when I opened the sofa. This was followed by a second tweet, above the sofa. I don't know about you, but that's sadly not what I find when I lift the cushions on my couch. This was naturally followed by hundreds of replies memeing the man's wife as a ninja, or showing off their own sword collections. But bizarrely, the weapons were never addressed again. Why this woman has such an impressive collection of weapons and why the swords were hidden but the guns proudly on display was never explained either. We all have our hobbies, I guess. Number 5. If you want to feel your rage, you're going to enjoy this next one. At around 1pm on May 19th, police received a call claiming that a man had been seen in front of JR Sendai Station, wielding what appeared to be a knife. Dozens of officers mobilised with their sasumata, which is a favourite weapon of mine ever since I first saw one at one of the schools I worked at. But it's basically a giant spiky prong with which you can catch and pin dangerous criminals, like those waving around a knife, so that nobody gets hurt. Police soon found and identified this knife-wielding maniac, 
only to discover that he wasn't wielding a knife at all. The only thing he was wielding was a garake phone. You know, those old flip-style ones from before smartphones. The initial report came from two teenage girls who <laughs> apparently had no idea what this ancient technology was. Another teenager who was interviewed on the scene also claimed to not be very familiar with what a garake phone was, and figured it wouldn't be too hard to mistake it for a knife. Security footage was analysed and the man's belongings searched, but no knife was ever found. Only his ancient technology phone from the pre-2010s. Ouch. Number 6. In this month's toilet news, a visitor to the Four Seasons Cherry Blossoms Park in Aichi Prefecture contacted the local tourism association to let them know that the toilets at the park were clogged and not flushing. Actually, a terrible problem. Workers arrived, however, to find the problem was a little more serious. It turned out that the metal lever, worth an astounding 20,000 yen by itself, had been pilfered. They also discovered the faucet from a nearby outside sprinkler, worth 10,000 yen, had been snatched as well. Who on earth was stealing these expensive and yet incredibly specific items? Considering how popular the park is and how many people use the toilets, this was naturally a problem the staff were keen to get to the bottom of. The men's toilets have reportedly been temporarily closed, until they can presumably replace the lost handle, but the multifunction toilets remain open to all. Number 7. Now for something a little more spiritual. If you're into connecting with the divine, then now is the time to pay a visit to the koi pond at Ishizuchi Shrine in Ehime Prefecture. It's around this time of year that you can see the carp strangely swimming in circles around a statue that was dedicated to the shrine by a devotee in 2016. It reportedly happens yearly around the May period as the weather gets hotter and then again during October as the weather gets cooler. Over 30 carp can be seen swimming in a circle around this one statue in their pond and they do this for 20 to 30 minutes at a time. According to a carp specialist, this is a phenomenon he's never seen before and is entirely unlike the behaviour they usually show during spawning season. Considering their holy location and habit of swimming around this one statue, the priest claims that if you're lucky enough to see them swimming their happy circles, then you too can make a connection with the divine. Sweet. Number 8. This month, another tweet featuring some strange statues hit the news, although these were undoubtedly more terrifying than the cute yet creepy Jomon baby. 136 figures of human-looking creatures with large, monstrous heads is now on display at the Japanese Yokai Museum in Hiroshima. Yet, the history behind these figures remains a mystery. Nobody is sure who made them and what they're supposed to represent. The museum has hypothesized that they were made by a skilled Buddhist priest towards the end of the Edo period, but this is just a theory and ultimately they don't really know anything about these monstrous looking figures. They came into the museum's possession thanks to the museum's honorary director, who personally gathered them from various private collectors over the years. But who made them and why? That still remains a fascinating mystery. Number 9. Has Japan's most useless road sign been found? One Twitter user certainly thinks so. The following was posted on May 6th of Prefectural Road 375 in Gunma Prefecture. It shows, well, an arrow. That's it. You are on Road 375. Where are you going? Who knows, but it goes straight ahead. A close-up on the sign shows that it did once have information that seems to have been covered over, but the why of this remains bafflingly unknown, as does the reason why the sign remains standing with no information on it. Some people have claimed that the sign was erected early for a new expressway that is currently in the works, but that's less fun than it being the secret entrance to a parallel universe or something, I guess. 
Number 10. Finally, let's end this month with a little movie news. It was recently announced that Okamuro-san will be hitting theatres this October. Why is that important enough to mention here? Because it's yet another story that's based on a legend that sprang to life on Ni Channel. Okamuro-san is one of those cursed stories where you simply have to know his name and three days after hearing his story, you will die. The movie appears to be making him an Edo period legend who certainly has an interesting design. It will reportedly be getting an international release as well, so keep an eye out. And that's just some of the weird, bizarre, terrifying and also kind of funny news that came out of Japan last month. But what about you guys? Hear of anything odd or terrifying? Weird or funny? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.